Oh, oh, the female Ben Shapiro strikes again, and Rachel Zegler is having none of it. Who knew a movie like Snow White would become the epicenter of drama and controversy in modern times? It's the battle between woke and anti-woke, and Rachel Zegler isn't afraid to go off for it. Say, if I'm gonna stand there 18 hours in a dress of an iconic Disney princess, I deserve to be paid for every hour that it is streamed online. Disney's live-action remakes are often written off by reviewers and fans as millennial nostalgia bait and money grabs. Also, they hardly ever compare to the greatness of the original animated movie. Snow White has shown to be just that. And conservative content creators have taken over the conversation with anti-woke talking points, on top of fan complaints, as Disney produces remake after remake. Let's be real, Disney has had difficulty adapting classics like Dumbo, Pinocchio, and Snow White to live action. This is because the films were released more than eight decades ago, and cultural expectations have changed since then. Now, Rachel Zegler, who has gained immense popularity in Hollywood, is slated to play Snow White, and apparently she's not too happy about what's going on. Things weren't looking good for the new Disney princess a few months ago. If you've been following the most recent developments on the live-action adaptation, you must have noticed the general disappointment among Disney fans about Rachel Zegler's choice for the lead role. Plus, her take on the 1937 Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs plot has drawn criticism, especially in light of the conventional depiction of Snow White as having skin as white as snow. Look, Walt Disney's breakthrough animated masterwork Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was released in 1937 and left a mark on cinema history. The movie's importance went beyond its box office performance. It set the standard for upcoming animated projects and solidified Disney's position as a pioneer in the animation industry. Viewers were taken to a magical realm by the classic tale of Snow White, the beautiful princess, and her adventures with the evil queen and the endearing seven dwarfs. The Grimm's Brothers German fairy tale, Schneewittchen, which is known as Snow White in English, served as the basis for the movie. The version of the Grimm's, which was published in 1812, included crucial plot points like the poisoned apple, the jealous stepmother, and the prince's kiss that saved her life. The fairy tale written by the Grimm's itself is influenced by older European tradition. These classic components were given fresh life by Disney's 1937 adaptation, which also provided a visually spectacular interpretation that has kept Snow White's enduring charm for many years. So naturally, a huge portion of Disney's fanbase has expressed disapproval of the company over its planned live-action adaptation of the famous story. Rachel Zegler is Snow White in this rendition, and her remarks have only made the outrage more heated. She called the original story strange, and hinted that the live-action adaptation would not follow the conventional Prince Rescues Princess plot. She's not going to be safe with the prince, and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. Zegler's tone was met with criticism from an unholy combination of Disney fans, anti-woke content artists, and well-known film talk critics who called her a walking PR disaster for Disney, and even accused her of shaming anyone who liked the animated original. Lately, Disney has come under fire from both progressive and reactionary observers for their attempts to give their princesses greater agency, which they claim are shallow and unauthentic. Criticism has also been directed at Disney's choice to substitute magical creatures for the well-known Seven Dwarfs. The adaptation is being called Snow White, not Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And well, a lot of criticism was directed at the remake's take of Dwarfs. The star of Game of Thrones, Peter Dinklage, called Disney's adaptation a backward story, adding that he was a little surprised that the company was happy to put a Latina actress in the role of Snow White while maintaining the plot of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. You're progressive in one way, and then, but you're still making that f***ing backward oh, story of about Seven Dwarfs <laughs> living in a cave. To get, what the f*** are you doing, man? Disney responded to Dinklage's remarks by saying that they're taking a different approach with these seven characters and have been consulting with members of the dwarfism community in order to avoid reinforcing stereotypes from the original animated film. Because of all this, even though the film's premiere is anticipated by loyal fans, Disney is facing major financial difficulties. According to reports, the corporation needs to make more than $340 million in ticket sales to break even. And as production goes on, this amount could increase. Disney just announced a one-year postponement of the movie with a new release date of 2025. 
Taking advantage of that, it was revealed that the conservative platform, The Daily Wire, planned to create its own version of Snow White, casting YouTuber Brett Cooper as the princess. They also unveiled Bent Key, a kid's subscription app, taking a direct shot at Disney+. Yeah, that didn't sit well with the corporation, or Rachel. Oh, and hearing Rachel's comments, David Hand, a Disney designer from the 1990s and the son of a director from the first movie, voiced his disappointment towards Disney. Many of these plot twists have been deemed insulting by him, and he has expressed disapproval of the drastic changes made to the story and character depictions. He argued that the legacy of Disney and the accomplishments made by his father are not being given enough credit. There was a rumor going around that Rachel Zegler was enraged upon the announcement of the anti-woke Snow White from the Daily Wire. If you ask us, why wouldn't she be? It's everything she stands in opposition to. Daily Wire's film Snow White and the Evil Queen, which is based on the classic Grimm's fairy tale, stars YouTuber Brett Cooper as the princess. The announcement was made by Daily Wire co-founder Jeremy Boring during the introduction of Bent Key, the company's new kids' entertainment brand, which aims to compete with Disney Plus at a moment when some conservatives are becoming impatient with the legacy studio. Disney, in his opinion, has essentially abandoned Walt Disney's heritage, even if they still use his name. By the way, Cooper was already the host of The Comments Section with Brett Cooper, a program produced by The Daily Wire. As we mentioned, the change-up with the Seven Dwarfs into a group of magical creatures of all sizes and genders, as well as the casting of a Latina star as a character who is described in the original story as having skin as white as snow, drew criticism from conservative critics. This was the perfect opportunity for Daily Wire to jump in to cater to conservative audiences. So they did. Then a flurry of remarks Rachel made that suggested she didn't like the original movie and that the remake would handle the iconic character quite differently generated a whole lot of commotion. You know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Several people have accused Zegler of pseudo-feminism, since videos of her statements have been making the rounds online. The initial outrage grew when Rachel Zegler revealed details about the planned movie in multiple interviews, alluding to major deviations from Walt Disney's original story. Zegler not only called the OG movie strange, she also stressed that her version differs from the 1937 one where it was all longing for true love and dependence on a prince to save her. Rather, she emphasized on Snow White's desire to be a living example of courage, justice, bravery, and truth. Yeah, that's what didn't sit well with people. Zegler also hinted at possible changes to the character of Jonathan, played by Andrew Burnap, which sparked rumors about what would happen to him in the movie. If you ask Jeremy Boring, he thinks Americans are tired of giving their money to woke media companies who want to indoctrinate their children with radical race and gender theory. And guess what? That's why Rachel Zegler fired up the criticism by revealing that the remake will have a modern edge, which is different from the 1937 Snow White. The actress faced more backlash for saying that the prince was a guy who literally stalks her. Plus, Rachel also discussed rewriting Snow White's story to place less emphasis on finding true love, a move that some original Snow White fans deemed anti-feminist. They argued that women's ability to dream of real love does not point towards a drop in their authority. Because of all this, critics have written off Disney's live-action remake as cheap shots that will never quite match the quality of the original animated movies. But in response to the internet bullies and trolls who criticized Rachel Zegler's casting, she's chosen to stand her ground. The 22-year-old has refused to let the hate get to her. She expressed her gratitude for those times, saying that getting through it all makes her feel like solid Teflon. Rachel believes that nothing can hurt her anymore, because the trolls have said the worst that can be said. And only time will tell which Snow White does well with the audiences. Let us know in the comments below what you think about the two Snow Whites. Are you Team Zegler or Team Cooper? And if you want to know what Brett Cooper has to say about her fellow Snow White, then this is the next video that you need to watch.